What is up YouTube and welcome back to Slay the Princess. In the previous episode we made a bunch of choices. In the first round we actually killed her but obviously we didn't. And in the second round we allowed her to possess us and then weird shit happened. I am very lost but I'm excited to see what will happen from here on out because at the, at the end of the last video we died. Let's see what happens. I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you are new and let's help on in. So it looks like we're starting from chapter one again. I don't know what's happening. This guy's going to read about everything from... Uh, let's just go to the cabin in that case. Uh, you make your way up the short path. A warning. She... I've already been through all of this in the f uh, in the first video, and I do not understand why I'm play replaying this. Maybe I should. Am I redoing everything? Like, did I do that wrong? It was that one ending that I had? Is almost entirely bare. So I'm the gonna take. Is your implement. You know what? Uh, into the basement, without the blade. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Let's see what her happens. Softly carries okay. up the stairs. Who's there? Hello? Is someone there? That's different. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Uh, just checking. Let's go with a completely different route because in the first round I said hi. I'm here to save you. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble. I love the I love the voice. I love Come downstairs. The... I want to see the face of my rescuer. No trusting there. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. I'm actually gonna Find free her and see what happens. Wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot, There's a lot right on you here. Hi. I can't Hey. Be I've been <laughs> waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you got something to do sure. with these chains. Not really. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. I actually want to do everything that the narrator uh says not to do hold on let's talk a bit first i'll see what i can do examine the chains now ah, let's do it screw the narrator only making this more difficult i'm literally uh, went up to the cabin to literally Thank rescue you. her uh, you're welcome you're making a huge mistake shut up no you're doing the right thing yep you walk up to the chains binding Let's the see princess what to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Uh, no. I'm Maybe guessing you do. Somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her. I wonder if the narrator had actually did it. Uh, and there, if, and if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. Uh, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains. Uh, okay. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Jeez, that's dark. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Exactly. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. This makes me think of actually the the movie 127 Hours, like literally, that guy cut himself loose, so yeah. 
It's not that bad. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Oh? Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Tr uh, explore the door. Uh, return to the bottom of the stairs. Hmm. Am I gonna try the door? Or return to the bottom of the stairs? Let's try the door. It slammed shut, that's all that happened. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Okay, so return to the ba uh, bottom. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier. Shut if up! You'd just taken the blade. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. Not really a mess, just locked in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Who's they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. How? Let's imagine I don't know you. How are we? How are... If I... Loosen you from the chains. How are we gonna force our way out of here? I'm, I'm like the hero here. You're a princess, so come on. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Jesus, lady! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. This game really gives me so much, so many chances to like kill her. You could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. You know what? Screw it. Save the princess. She's already a cannibal. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. Look, killing her in the first game, in the first round, right? Right at the beginning, did nothing. So I might as well just go along with it and try to save her. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Damn, girl. Her limb falls to the ground, and, and the heavy the chains, chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. Blood from her The drawing of this game is amazing. Ground. Okay. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go fuck up the world. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. Are you... As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. So the narrator is now making us do it. What? This isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Excuse me! What are you doing? <laughs> uh, Warner? <laughs> what? What the flip? Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low. So even if I don't want to kill her, I do kill her? But the princess dodges. Nice! Back against the wall before the blade I'm rooting for the princess at this point. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Resist! Out of all the options, res- What? Wait, return. What the hell? Resist! Blade. Move. The blade. Shut up! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We're about to get fucked! We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? 
Doing whatever you say to do, I'm but sorry. the opposite. I'll try to be quick. What do you mean? She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no, I'm so sorry. So she kills me. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? <laughs> Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two Depends on how you look at it. doomed everyone. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Huh? What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So something came over you to kill me? She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Rivulets? New word I'm learning. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. <laughs> as much we as pissed off the narrator. Gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. And you die. Okay. You're on a path in the woods. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. here to slay her. I'm getting terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't it already happened? Okay, no. But I died. What am I doing here? Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Voice of the smitten? In the previous game, I had the voice of the cold. Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. So the previous round I killed her and I got the voice of the cold. Now I tried to save her, now I've got the voice of the smitten. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. Sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Good line. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth. And all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let Indulge me for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Okay. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. Agreed. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. So we can't save her, or we tried. In the previous game we killed her, then we went back, then she possessed us. So this time we, uh, we saved her, let's see what happens. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like mocking us. A dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What sure. do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. 
you forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yep. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? It still feels like ground all day to me, man. What do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? How are, how am I still alive in that case? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned <laughs> as part of some convoluted, convoluted. dastardly scheme. Okay. Convoluted. I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Fine, let's just go to the cabin. Turn around and leave, what happens? Are we running away? What are you doing? We have to- Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Uh, your princess not go to the cabin and stay the princess. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll stay here, maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. I guess we will. You're joking, right? If we're going to the cabin, there's no world where we do anything other than save her. Okay. Weird ass voices. Before, Before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Yep, we read already this. told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only <laughs> thing in the world we can believe in. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. <sighs> I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are... This guy is very strong. annoying. They much sure, yeah, <laughs> your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things Something better kept uh, quiet. Yeah. Don't think they're bickering any mind. Focus. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just go. Last time there was a, a mirror and the walls had some stuff on it. Let's see if it's the same. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. It's, it's different. The walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. I chose this last time. This whole cabin is different than last time. Or I chose that last time. Approach the mirror. Uh, take the blade. You know what? Take the blade. Um, you take I'm going to save her again. I'm going to see what happens. It will be difficult to slay the prince. Yes, yes, yes. If we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge. And hopefully it doesn't get turned on us. Again. again. <laughs> There's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Uh, he didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. Um, approach the mirror. Are we gonna approach the mirror? Why not? You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see. I think I chose this last time. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a, it's mirror. a mirror. Or at least it'll or be least a it'll mirror be once we wipe off the wipe layer off. of grime. Wipe the mirror, then we see ourselves. Reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I've been out of the Look right now. A second ago. Oh, now there was nothing. Gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Okay, that's just weird. Anyway, enter basement. I think I've chosen all the other options, so now it's just action. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Yes, but it's yes, still yes. A basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft okay. voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Hello? Is, is someone, someone there? there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. So he remembers the other voice. wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. 
Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. She didn't even charm me the previous round. The Hi there. And lock eyes with the princess. Maybe she's There's hungry. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Okay, cool. My love, we're here to rescue you from your <laughs> unjust and foul imprisonment. <laughs> you know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my, she spirit. Can hear my spirit. I thought he was going to say heart oh, or something. Your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. She remembers me, so this has happened. Do you hear that? She said we're dashing, and she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. Yep. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Yep. Well, she killed us. Only yep. Because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but... What's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Do what right? Oh, uh, kill her? Nah. On. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. This guy has a lost cause. anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Uh, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? Do I have to cut you uh, you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. What happened after I died? And uh, I have to ask, what did, what did you end the world of? Wait, what? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back there? I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. I'm gonna say this. Another version of me was pushed to such drastic action. It was for good reason. Okay. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride, to a surprising extent, an almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. <laughs> do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. The narrator's voice is actually annoying, to be honest. Uh, rescue? Uh, no. Let's ask her the questions, because we've never been here. You killed me last time and it hurt a lot, why did you do that? I'm sorry, didn't you want me to? I didn't want to die, I think. Did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our Cruel! Body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. How so? She killed us. How's that uh, to give us a choice? She And she made the choice to free us of our misery. Okay. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. Right. Do I have to cut you out again? It, uh, I really didn't care for that last time. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Well, that makes no fucking sense. Uh, did you, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Oh, now she's just a pleaser. Isn't that just like our <laughs> darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. She is actually very beautiful uh, from this perspective of the drawing, to be honest. You're listening to her. Like, well done to the creator. No, it's not. Uh, no, I want... No, I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. See? She didn't confess anything. <laughs> she is 
innocence itself. I'm not so sure. Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that last time. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Jesus, woman. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, <laughs> we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behaviour and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. And rescue no. again. I can't let you do that. If you take uh, another step towards the princess, I'll... You're what? Yes. It just played. Shit. Not on my watch, villain. My passions can... Villain! Panic <laughs> depths. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. This guy reminds me of someone in the Shakespeare play, to be honest, like, like in one of those movies. He wouldn't. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach what the, the hell am I? Look at the nails and shit. Am I a... Uh, shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Ooh. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. Is the voice of the smitten uh, 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 guy gonna be like how we end this thing? I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Let's Thank see what you happens. So much. And she has uh, both arms. The princess jumps up and smiles. Oh, this is gonna fucking scare face. me. This is gonna scare me. Are you sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade is buried in her back and everyone out there is saved. Is that a threat? You know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. What do we do now? Oh good, nothing bad happened. Uh, what do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. Let's figure out what she wants to do. Let me guess. End the world? Shut up! Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. <laughs> I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? I think I want to leave, and I think... Here it is! Here it is! Jump scare! Jump scare! Come at me! The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. <sighs> Bro, I'm waiting for that! And then, she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh. She sounds like my girlfriend, Claudia. Literally, she, my girlfriend Claudia is going to the UK and, and before she went, I was like, I'm going to treat you. What do you want to eat and so on? And she was like, and I was like, what do you, what do you want? And she's like, I don't know. What do you want? It went back and forth for a while. Uh, I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the, the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Something isn't, something isn't right here. I'm sorry. What? I still have an option? Um, I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest that later. Sounds perfect. Let's just go. I don't want to explore the stuff. As the princess takes your hand in hers, you let your blade tumble uselessly to the floor, and with it tumbles the last hope for the entire world. I wonder if the narrator is actually going to disappear in my head. The, and she wasn't bad. We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. 
Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. The narrator is definitely single. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? The world ends. Let's see. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Oh, come on, narrator. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. We're up against the narrator. Oh, no. Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. Yes. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. Enough with this, this guy's hopeless. love nonsense. You just met her. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you have ever known. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. This is so fascinating. I'm actually enjoying it. It's like reading a book. Uh, do you think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try together. I think I've got this. Let's try together. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Boom! Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. <laughs> and... <laughs> the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Well, you did a shitty job to like lock us. But our love was insurmountable. <laughs> you and the princess make your way upstairs. Her freedom and the world's ruin are just a few moments away. If you don't mind, I'm going to fix myself a drink before you ruin everything. If I'm about to see the end of the world, I'd rather not see it sober. That's true, though. Let's see what That's happens. The way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. Okay. And then you step outside. Your love will set you free. And then you step outside. Ah, happy. We did it. What oh. should we do now? Scary music. Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Oh god, it's starting. Is the world really gonna end? She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Feathers? What are we? Oh, this shit again? Bye-bye. So that's basically, from what I understand, that is the end. But you don't get a chance to make that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? It's, uh, of course you're scared this is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. Just going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Just tr uh, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. Huh? What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Do it then. End us all before I die of a broken heart. Approach the mirror. So I'm going to see myself again. I'm this demon wing thing. Silence as you reach forward they're they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've grown the bloat. I'm a demon. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. There she is, you are at the cabin. Approach her. 
flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. So I didn't restart. I'm so confused. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Uh, are you the same being as you were before? How much have changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Uh, when this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. Okay, you're not making any sense, lady. I tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. Okay. But in this moment... All I want is to know myself, and to know you. Me too. What does it feel like to change like this? You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? When I go back, uh, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Uh, you have been kinder to me than any uh, anyone else I've met, thank you. You have been kind of me than it was else I've met. Why? Interesting. What do you want me to bring you next time? Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? I. This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. So she's good! Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. What? Attack the entity, destroy your body. What did I do last time? I'm ready to go back. Uh, how many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have given me enough to build a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. Okay. The task of finding my vessels is your burden to carry. What does it feel like to change like this? You know that at the end of this, once you finish, I'm going to kill you, right? Lily, are we going to say that? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. You have been kinder to me. What, thank you. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. Do not worry. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Every perspective. I see. I don't really want to attack the entity. Um... I'm ready to go back, I guess. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die! Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. This is actually so amazing. The story, I, I like, really got into it. I enjoyed it. I hope you, you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Because this is really amazing. I'm enjoying the story and I hope you guys are as well. There are so many different options and choices. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go.